Hey, Royal. So we're right now, we are outside of the Barnes & Noble that was uh, actually uh, involved in these incidents that you mentioned. I wanted you to see this on the door right here, a nice uh, sign saying it's closed and right next to it a note telling customers to actually go to the Ellison Drive location. That one was not affected by these incidents and it has normal business hours. And Royal, as you mentioned, a suspect is in custody and police say the community is safer because of it. It was a busy morning for law enforcement across the metro, but police say the streets are safer now because an undercover detective stopped a vehicle on Manal and Carlisle and later took someone into custody who may be tied to these incidents across Albuquerque. We firmly believe that our community is safe and this should not happen again. So who is the suspect? The FBI and APD are not saying a lot for now, but the chief telling Action 7 News their search for the person or persons responsible is over. I can also let the public know that we have no other suspects. We have no other subjects that we're looking at. Both agencies are now trying to collect evidence to build a case. The FBI is leading the investigation. Albuquerque Mayor Richard Berry says we can all take a deep breath. It's been a difficult 48 hours in the city of Albuquerque. We've had multiple fires around the city uh, that have attacked multiple businesses. And the fact that they have a suspect in custody is good news. Some comforting words as residents were worried after the string of dangerous vandalisms. And I reached out to the FBI to get more information about the suspect in custody or that person in custody. Uh, they did not return my calls. We're live in Northeast Albuquerque. Justin Matthews, KYT Action 7 News. Okay.